with footage of him making his great-grandmother Peggy's English breakfast sandwich, mixing an experimental gin and tonic, and blowtorching a cheese toasty, Brooklyn Beckham has delighted his 16 million Instagram followers. However, his peculiar method of cooking was not without its critics. Huge crowds watched his actions, but thousands of others left critical comments criticizing his efforts. His effort at a Sunday roast was criticized for using an excessive quantity of butter, and claims were made that the meat remained raw even after it was cooked, despite the fact that American chef Kevin Lee was by his side the entire time. When the backlash intensified, Brooklyn's mother Victoria intervened to defend her son, stating that the meat was rare not raw, and that she would be cooking the family a supper according to his recipe. The entire public will soon be able to see Brooklyn's inventions for the first time. The eldest child of David and Victoria Beckham is taking a pun to the extreme by collaborating with meal delivery service Uber Eats to launch a pop-up restaurant in East London for two days next week. In addition to Brooklyn's famous English breakfast sandwich, it will serve more complex fare including Wagyu beef bolognese and dim sum in the Chinese manner. While many young guys would find it difficult to get such a project off the ground, Brooklyn was able to do it thanks to his connections on ABC's Good Morning America, one of the largest television shows in the U.S. In order to promote cooking with Brooklyn Beckham, he has also enlisted the help of other well-known American chefs and his A-list father. Explaining that he became an expert cook during the COVID lockdowns when those infamous films first started to surface on Instagram, Brooklyn continued, saying, I feel incredibly humbled and honored to be embarking on this culinary adventure. I'm passionate about this. I sincerely hope you all have fun viewing. So why does 24-year-old Brooklyn, who has made millions of dollars from modeling and brand deals, continue to put himself out there? when so many people instinctively and often unfairly criticize him, particularly considering that many who know him well claim he is very sensitive. The fact that he has been a crucial component of Brand Beckham since birth could be one reason for this. Many will recall the £1 million photos that were sold to OK Magazine of a baby Brooklyn posing with his parents on their wedding day. Some in the Beckham community blame his current sense of directionlessness on his prominent part in his parents' successful project, which is currently valued at over £370 million. I have a lot of sympathy for him, a source said. He's never really known how to handle his own life. According to his acquaintances, he has never been able to recall a day when he wasn't in the spotlight, all at his parents' insistence. David and Victoria loved the publicity back then, one person continues. It's reasonable to argue that Brand Beckham benefited from Brooklyn's assistance in getting off the ground. He was the adorable infant who brought everything together rather well. With the arrival of the others, they were able to withdraw from public life and started to place greater emphasis on their children's privacy. Even as a teenager, Victoria would bring Brooklyn out to red carpet events as her plus one, while David travelled the globe for work. Some claim that he uses his food to express his individuality. At the age of eight, Brooklyn's father signed with LA Galaxy, ending his childhood dream of becoming a football player and moving the family to Los Angeles. Given that football coaching standards are significantly lower in America, David and Victoria must have realized that their move would make it more difficult for him to follow in his father's footsteps. He would have had top-notch coaching, which might have meant he could play at a high standard, an insider stated if they had stayed in the UK. That was his true desire from the beginning. Really, it's all a little depressing. Being the son of a nearly modern-day royalty couple, what do you do? With the education he had, you're not exactly going to become a teacher or a plumber. Brooklyn went to the pound 30 000 per year Weatherby School in the heart of London, 
whose prior students included Hugh Grant, Prince William, and Prince Harry. The Beckhams are obviously incredibly devoted and helpful parents, but they have also long worried about their oldest son's future because Brooklyn was not academically gifted. Although David would step back and let his kids pursue their interests, Victoria was extremely driven and even demanding and wanted more for her kids. At the age of 15, Brooklyn secured a contract to represent Huawei, a contentious Chinese telecom firm, as the face of its youth brand, Honor. Soon after, Tiger Mum Posh intervened to support him when he made the decision to pursue a career in photography. Rather than giving him the opportunity to gain experience with a basic camera and advance his talents, she procured him advanced gear and secured a publishing agreement for a coffee table book. The outcome, what I see, Brooklyn Beckham, was later unveiled at a glamorous event held at Christie's in London. The book was a failure, even with the massive publicity campaign. Friends claimed that his father was mortified that Brooklyn had been publicly abandoned. David always held the belief that children ought to be free to be children and pursue their interests, one person claims. It was not a requirement that it be a career. Victoria, though, was unfazed. Brooklyn was employed as an assistant by her close friend Rankin, a renowned portrait photographer who has worked with royalty like the Queen and King Charles. Their romance was short-lived, though, as Brooklyn reportedly left, because the famed photographer's staff was surprised by his lack of skill. He left the Parsons School of Design in New York about the same time. But Victoria never backs down, and her next step was to assist him in getting a contract to shoot a 2017 ad campaign for Burberry's Brit Fragrance. However, that also caused a stir when renowned British photographer Chris Floyd called the label's choice to employ him a sheer nepotism and a devaluation of photography. Victoria was also given the moniker Momager for it, after the Kardashian family's matriarch, entrepreneur Chris Jenner. Following that, Brooklyn started experimenting with modeling, while Victoria redirected her attention to supporting her youngest son Cruz in his aspirations to become a pop sensation. Romeo, the middle son, plays football for his father's Inter Miami squad in Florida, while Cruz, who was 11 years old when he dropped his first single, If Every Day Was Christmas in 2016, is reportedly back in the recording studio for the upcoming season. Naturally, Victoria is spearheading the endeavor and enlisting the assistance of renowned manager Scooter Braun for Justin Bieber. Regarding Harper, Victoria is already posting photos of her daughter with her 30 million followers and using her as a muse for her recently successful fashion line. Friends report that even though Victoria coddled Brooklyn far into adulthood, she no longer has much of an impact on his life. When David travelled the world for work or to play football abroad, she would rely greatly on him. Despite their strong relationship, Brooklyn chose to relocate 5,400 miles away from the Beckhams' £25 million London estate after being married to heiress Nicola Peltz. The two major ladies in his life have, in reality, had tumultuous relationships. Victoria was originally thrilled that Brooklyn had selected Nicola 28, the millionaire businessman Nelson Peltz's daughter. Victoria has always had a deep interest in Brooklyn's girlfriends. However, as is widely known, Nicola and Brooklyn got married in 2022 after a fight over a wedding dress. Although things seem to have worked out after then, Nicola now seems to be Brooklyn's mother hen. It is believed that she is the one who drives Brooklyn to work. There have been rumours that father-in-law Nelson reprimanded him for loitering around the Peltz estate while wearing his dressing gown, and that she is incredibly pleased of his accomplishments as a chef. According to friends, the two are creating their own brand, and the cooking films have helped put them on the covers of prominent publications like Vogue. The couple is frequently highlighted on social media by the Fashion Bible, and last summer, 
their wedding photos were published on the covers of both the US and UK editions. Brooklyn's videos also contribute to his continued public recognition, which is a key component of his appeal to sponsors. The jewellery company Tiffany & Company has also offered the Pelts Beckhams a hefty contract, and Brooklyn is an ambassador for the London-based Pepe Jeans and the Japanese beverage company We Sake. Despite his controversial past, Brooklyn's acquaintances describe him as a really kind man with a great heart, despite his tendency towards shyness. One buddy remarks, it's unfortunate that he was thrust into the world of celebrity. You have to question whether this is something he is meant to do, or if there was never a chance for his life to turn out differently.